So when you never have to work again for another day in your life and your assets provide enough cash flow to cover your expenses and you can buy your future time back by not having to labor for every dime, to me, that's my definition of wealth. That was one of the questions in the email. This is why time should be valued and protected. Time it should be important to everybody. The only time when time is not important to people is when they don't value time. And usually when they don't value time, they are struggling financially. Because money creates time by giving you freedom. So I hope that wrapped it up. I hope, you know, that was a great email. Another thing um, they asked, and let me get my notes out, is... What gold is too expensive, eighteen hundred dollars an ounce for this person? What to do if I do not have enough money to buy one ounce or ounces of gold at eighteen hundred dollars? Uh, I've always said this at twenty eight dollars for silver, invest in silver. Anyone can buy real silver coin for about twenty eight dollars. In fact, silver it could be which I think it will be a better investment than gold. Why? Because silver is an industrial precious metal. That means it's being consumed and disappearing every day. So there's stockpiles of silver that's going away. That's what people don't understand. When they use silver in catalytic converters, Tesla, uh, when they use it in its vehicles, when they use it for industrial use, it goes away. And that's supply and demand. Right? Another question. I have a lot of money in stocks and savings in a savings account. Why not wait for the price of gold and silver to go up and then start buying? Because real gold and silver people, real gold and silver... It's not fake money. It's not cash. It's not fiat. It's not the government's money. Right? And so, today, rich people hoard silver and gold. It's only the poor working class and the middle class that's only thinking about cashing it back in to CBDCs or cash, just like they do crypto. Because they don't understand that they're giving up a real asset for a currency system that's about to go away and be revamped. Right? Now, with gold, gold is, is valuable and it's available. Rich countries and rich people acquire gold. Notice I said rich countries and rich people. Right? And they put this in storages. They put it in cold storage. The United States and China has been manipulating the price of gold. So just know people talk about the um, how volatile cryptocurrency is and how the price is manipulated, which I'm not arguing or disputing it, but so is gold and silver. In 2011, JP Morgan um, hoarded over 350 million ounces it's 38% of the world's population of silver, and they suppress the gold of silver, um, the price of silver. I mean, they suppress the, the price of silver. That's why it's still at $28 an ounce. But it's only going to stay suppressed for so long, especially now that we're going through a great reset and a currency system reset. So the United States and China manipulate the price of gold, keeping the price of gold as low as possible. Uh, and believe it or not, they do this so that China can acquire more gold. So once China has enough gold, yes, I said China, the United States and China will let the price of gold rise. So whenever China feel like they've acquired enough, you're going to see gold skyrocket. So why would the United States help China in this? Because China owns trillions of United States bonds, of U.S. bonds. When the United States prints fake money, 
or their money, the value of these bonds go down. So if China or when China starts dumping the United States bonds, the U.S. economy will collapse. So it is in the best interest of the United States to work with China to suppress the price of gold and to keep it low. So China can buy real cheap gold to offset its debt or the U.S. bond losses. And that's why China is going to, the United States is going to work with China in doing this.